So I'm a little worried going forward. Dignitas coming in with clutches of plenty. Forrest rolling back the years. Hauser hit, hitting orp flicks every damn day. And so James is going to need to cook up something naughty if outsiders want to long out the series and take us to a third. I don't know, Harry. I feel like we're in a, we're in the dig era right now. Um, what do you think? Dig era. Um, yeah, man. Why not? Let's go for it. <laughs> I, I, honestly, it, it does it does bring me a lot of joy seeing this yeah. team do so well. Like the closest I can kind of like rationalize it to myself is like this level of happiness that I get from seeing, you know, the likes of like Forrest and Freiburg uh, being so sick is how. Uh, you know, like the, the Brazilian community already just CS Famos feel when they watch the, the Imperial squad yeah. like have, have made this run to make it to the major. Um, wow. You know, it is it is just a real a, a real kind of vibe that everyone can get behind when you have these legends of the game where, you know, like like you like we were talking about on Mirage, maybe they disappeared for a little bit, right? But now they're still here trying to make it to a major, trying to make that happen. Mutiris is even like the, the Portuguese version of yeah. that. A pillar of the scene there. Someone who's been around for a very long while. I mean, pretty much everyone in that team has. But here we go. Into the pistol. Dignitas. Little walk in through the apartments. An A-side exec and a triple B lean for the outsiders. No, the other way around, mate. That's what I mean. The other way around. <laughs> Digger CT, don't get your eyes confused. It's outside this pocket. I don't know how I just did that. No, it's, it's almost fine. impressive, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it happens. You know, it's, it's, uh, it's been a long day, Harry, but we're just getting started with this series. Tuck it into our first course. Outsiders. A BO3 is a BO3 for a reason. These guys. I have all day to play. Heap has to clear apps. Jane turns back and gets that kill. And now it's a short side retake with this late apps flank. This could be naughty, but two players are stuck at the halls right now. Oh, it's a massacre. Blink and the round is done. Your kid doubles up in the graveyard and the kills just get hunted down by outsiders in the post plant. Far better at somewhat of a, you know, just a, a wrong stack. We know what Inferno's like. They're leaning heavy B. They've got a bait player of sandbags and two guys hiding in the back of the B by a bomb site. Digger even double long. When outsiders go, the one counter to that, the apps pop and the short take into an A site hit. So we're going to have to force up. Outsiders, five rifles. They want this round squeaky clean. And, uh, he's going to uncrouch. He's going to look for the one tap that was very close. Halzuk jiggled, likely dodging death with that uh, repeak. Scout shown on A. Outside is going to group for the B hit. And this smoke, do they respect it? Yes. Nice chunky gap. Buster looks to bite now. There is an exec being thrown in. They commit with it, though. Throwing CT smokes on the fly can always be scary. They can leave big gaps if they bounce wrong. So it's only a fake out. Still three more smokes for outsiders. They could even throw one more just to make sure Dig use all their util and two more of their own. Three at B and uh, Dignitas are not panicking at all. They're on this quad mid stack right now. They're even smoking it. Uh, they could just welcome outsiders into this play, but that smoke might send them back to Banana right now. Third smoke at B. Dig have dropped them all over to this solo heap hold. And he's really trying to fake out that there are more than one player uh, players in the bomb site, but outsiders don't seem to care. They're going to go from it anyway. He's thrown two from spawn and one from the bomb site, and it might just be a flat out save. If he doesn't spam kills here, maybe just give it up and, and go next. Flitz lurking mid. He's dead, and with a kit on Lecro, that's temptation. Oh man, you would have loved Peep to have found a kill on the cross right through that little gap. Still the five on four. Chance of the retake for Dignitas. Now, not going to be easy. It was never meant to be easy. Can they trade their way to success? You kind of unfortunate Ooh. timing on the drop off of the sandbags. That's a free kill. Uh -oh. The Eagles over uh -oh. at the coffins. Going to respond. Oh, 
my goodness. What? It's only Buster left. Back in the site. Oh. First man down. Now needs to swap out to the USP. They're on the bomb. They're sticking it. And oh, man. Dignitas steal it away. Nothing more than a couple of digs. A force by. And they manage a five on five retake, admittedly finding that freebie over in middle that spurs it all on, that spurs it all into play, helps send them on their way. But it still is shocking how, how that looked like so dominant for Dig. Yeah, I don't know, right? How often do you go for 5v5 retakes in this map? Almost never uh, getting away with it, especially not with the, the little weaponry. The AK armed by Flit in mid is a big problem. Tears through outsiders in the post plant, and we already saw Flit's troubles on that last map as well. Not the time to go cold with a major spot. Not on the line in this match, but elimination certainly is. Really, really nice try for Buster, but the full stick, they weren't ready for that. Leko literally bought a kit in round two. He was he was all in for that round. Without the kit, maybe a different situation. But my oh my. Outsiders win the pistol. You don't remember it though. Already put down to pistols. Flat Glock on some. James bought up a bit of armor, but no one else. And even then, that's going to delay his T-side AWP. Faking the drop, but Dig don't care. They're holding strong with four on this mid-split. They're re-aggroing into ah. middle. Uh, <laughs> that is so ballsy. Okay, Alzok didn't see anything. That could actually be kind of helpful because now you're assuming, oh, they must be waiting to go banana. And they were. Oh, Here they are. Dear. He, wow. with a bit of a mow down, finally bested after three. But he's done his job. He's done his part in the round. See ya. Alzok doesn't want to throw it away. He's like, look, y'all still got 20 seconds left to play with. You can either go B or you can come back to me in middle. And well... He's going to let them try get into the B site. Freiburg here and holding the line. It's all on Yakindar who wants the Run bomb him. plant. But Dignitas... Oh, oh. Team Flash. Yeah, he was still crouched below the head triangle. Couldn't, couldn't stop him, but not the end of the world. Bit of money for outsiders. They'll, they'll like that for the AWP if they want it. But Dignitas still get it done. Freiburg. Team player getting that kit over. A 2-1 for Dig. Good start to the map right now. And again, like we said, this is a good map for outsiders. Their pick, they're going to be comfortable. And you're not going to catch Dig off guard. Also, one of those teams that are spamming online leagues, playing so many matches. But, you know, they, even in recent times, have plenty of maps played here on Inferno. Outsiders, it's do or die in the series. This is time to wake up. Rifle round, no warp. They had the option. Chose against it. Still full. AKs and M4s for Dig. No bonus about it. Molly trades. They want to go through, though, but there's a second Molly at the top of B. Buster smokes it first, but it's a lot of util used. Oh, he's trapped in the corner. Molly for Heap, and he can't get out. That's really awkward. Nice open up for outsiders. Heap kind of throws himself to the wolves there. Five on four means outsider is going to settle back in T spawn. Just you try and regress. Dig have already shown a lot of gambles in this map with these four race stacks and leaving heap solo B on ecos, etc. So, uh, you know, already starting to see more of that. The early rotate off of B. Freiburg alone, he has lots of util to stop this play. It's just down to whether outsiders respect it. Smoke goes down. And that's really annoying. They would have loved to go. Good grenade. Look at that damage. Yeah, that's pretty lovely, isn't it? Still, you know, you're, you're leaning triple over towards A. You're in a spot where if Freiburg doesn't multi-kill, this Ooh, is it. He's, he's going to smoke quad. Now, that kind of sails him down the river. They're like, huh. Okay, smoke quad. He's oh. probably dead. Tag damage. Oh, my oh, God. Don't kill Almost your teammate. TK'd. Freiburg just being Whoa. a nuisance. And he's brought it back into a four on four. Spam damage onto Jame. Oh my goodness. This is actually a lovely start. Uh, out of all the ways this could have gone, this is pretty nice for Dick's Smoke. Out. A little ways away for Lecro. 
Slow to the occasion. This nade. This nade. Oh. Going in the dark. Both players there are so low now. But I don't know if Digger going for this one. Electro taking a long old right, while. Save. And cut down at Banana. Now they're thinking about saving. Now they're thinking about leaving. Freiburg's got the hardest task on exiting this one. I'll let him go. He's got to run. He's got to really run. That will be allowed. Yeah, if that nade goes in pool, man, or oh, suddenly Dig just explode into the bomb site. Buster was low there. And the double dog, lots of utility damage, but no finishing kills. And that's all Dig really wanted out of that round. Freiburg's still so clean with the A4, man. That was a really nice shot to you, kick off here. Flit with the round winning kill. Not just smoking off CT in the post plant, saving that util very well, but killing the banana flank. If Lecro gets it, Buster's position suddenly null and void in pit, and they're left double dark, which is not fun. So, massive kill for Flit. All standard setup, 3 2. Walking up with that nade close. And while Forrest just rocks in it, that crow's also back side, gonna get mollied off. Oh, the turning, oh. the timing. Forrest is oh blinded, and they don't know oh they're right God. below him. What? Two kills for Forrest. Never been so easy. James gonna get that kill, but he's still down low, and outside is, it's gonna be hard to commit. They've gotta wait on Kicker. He hears the rotates, but he can't do much about the men in the sight with that motor smoke down. So if Heap can win this fight a lot, he can be responsible for that. That is a big win in and of itself. Now his sight players, they've just got to look ahead. They've just got to look forward. Outsiders, they're looking at the back line. They're looking to go save. Jame and Flip want nothing to do with A. I have... Dude, that is insane for Forrest. Like, full flash twice in a row. They were blind as well. And because they're a little bit blind and, and, and they get all the way out through mid without getting shot, they go, okay, it's fine. Like, we've got the space. We've got the territory. And so as they get underneath porch, no one's thinking about looking up into the rock spot, are they? Oh, my goodness. Dude, like, even... That, that kind of moment there, that's not like any kind of like huge outbrain from Forest. It's just... Uh, just <laughs> don't just shoot, don't of panic, yeah. You know? Oh, man. Very calm. What a way to have a round just stolen away from you. Just straight up taken away on the back of that double. Dignitas continue to build up this lead. And I mean, even the save here kind of leaves you in a bit of a weird way. Thankfully, James got extra cash, so I'm assuming he's going to drop for your kinder. Yeah, unless he unless he doesn't buy and they save for, for AWP and they just play for an, a lot of rifle round later. Wouldn't be a bad call out of outsiders, right? All in here does you know, mean you have to win it or dig are going to start to build in really fast on the CT side. And yeah, they go for it. You know, it's fine. Five rifles, two Galils. Still got the util to run a outsider's S ground. Getting that up B early. Kicker's gonna have to respect the Molotov and give them banana. Dig did start triple B, and that much can be ascertained by the nades thrown. Do outsiders take a quick space on A? Already flits deep in apartments. Let's take it back though. They do have the retake utility, and you can see Freiburg's lining it up. Pop banana smoke to Molly as well if he wants, but he's very blind. And it's just the fear that the Molly might be coming forces outsiders to respect the smoke and run away. You don't want someone either mollying or flash peeking off of that. So they realize very quickly that that's not the case with a corner Molly. How's that team going to rotate? He's got an HE grenade. Utility damage for Dig has been good this game already. Let's try to fake out A on his own, but this is a B pop with 40 seconds. How's Oh, nice. Moving nade. in to join the line. Oh, good timing on that wow. nade. Everybody bought down low. Now he's up and left. He's gone back to go and help out of A. He over here up on the boost, dropping oh, down again. now. But no. oh, it's a little bit awkward. The Molly burnt him out, and they finish off Freiburg with the smoke spam. 
He's going go through. Looking like he wants to try to draw on this. Oh, instead goes for the spam. Wow. Good for the three on three. They've always done a good job of bringing these rounds close, but the other two guys for Dig are just so far removed from this retake. They really got baited by Flitz Utility. All he did was throw a smoke on long and a flash over the A side about 30 seconds ago. He was even with the team for the hit in the first place. Yakindar holding for this CT push. I think it might just be the save for Dig. Nothing getting offered over, and man, it, it does feel a little yeah. bit, a little bit sad. In a, in a lot of these rounds, you know, even when outsiders get into B, Dignitas are always like equalizing the board, always bringing it back into you know a three on three or a four v four. But there's always one or two components that have just been delayed a little in those rotations that ultimately decide the fate for them. Yeah, I don't know what this is, uh, you know, what the call out for Dig. Maybe they're expecting more fake plays for outsiders, but you know, they, they have really solid B executes. So Dig are not getting convinced. They definitely need to, you know, either either lean better over towards uh, Arch and Moto side so they can speed up their rotates or just, you know, leave one guy in pit and, and be convinced by these XX smokes because outsiders are just rinse repeating BXX right now and they're winning them due to time or... You know, one of those rounds where they get one kill at a post plant and it's enough to, to force Dig's hand to save. Maybe that's something they're talking about in this tack as well. Because that's now a couple of rounds that we've had very late rotates out of Dig. And as a result, you just can't even attempt these retakes. And again, it's off the back of, you know, on B, they're always trading equally. We haven't actually had any rounds where outsiders have like double entry B with no deaths. Digger doing what they must on this B bomb site. Even that HE for Halzog, not known about, but very, very good damage. On the outside, these rounds are so winnable, but they just haven't had the positions to do it. Back up banana, kick it a little kick uh, quicker now. More utility damage. Oh, the molly spreads last second. Combined with a nade, that's a kill. And nothing kicker could do about it. They just peel back again. Just fiddling with nades, going for the boost, making sure he gives all his stuff, can't throw anything useful from this position. And even if he does, if they're peaking, they can see the trajectory of a Molotov. They, they know that someone's up here. So given the dig are, you know, in these awkward retake positions, playing this boost is really nice. They can concede the bomb site, but they can still get value out of it and find maybe a five on four or a five on three. If outsiders execute, Great spot for a one and done. Hard to trade, unless you're hard clearing it. And with the setups we've seen on B, every round dig have been in the bomb site. So, nice change up. Won't matter though, it's an APOP, 40 seconds. Up mid they go. Yeah, Forrest over here at long. Oh, Ooh. wins that first fight, Yakinda. Gets locked out of the round. And so with just 30 seconds left, outsiders have got to make a play. They've got to be fast here. And with a remolly down on the short side, that's like a world of problems. Suddenly, the already limited time is now even more limited. Halzerk gets himself tucked in. Even though they spot Lecro, they don't deal with the close wow. man. And they're wrapped up the short side by Forrest to help close Dignitas. Continue to keep themselves in the lead here. Wonderful little site setup. Very, very comfortable playing this down to the wire, down to the clock. Yeah, Dig, you can see them getting hyped as well. I mean, this is this is unprecedented. Uh, unprecedented. As good as they've played in this event, we kind of said they got robbed with their draw, with, you know, having to play Vitality round one. That Eternal Fire game that certainly was winnable for Dig until the tech problems, and then bashing Game of Legion. Did feel like they were, you know, they were undervalued coming into this this region, especially in the harder of the two European RMRs. Obviously, there's a lot of good teams in the next one as well, but I'd say I think I think this one's pretty cut and dry, more competitive, more surprises perhaps. Outsiders, just this hero AK right now. Got to step up. It's Jay. Molly's down in middle. And Lecro's gone through the smoke. Very keen. 
He committed down B with Freiburg jumping. Last thing they're going to clear. And Leko is going for him. That full send right down mid. Buster gets picked up. That's fine. It's only a pistol gone. And the taker would love to trade, but the molly keeps him contained. Bomb is still back in T-spawn. Outsiders are nowhere near a commitment in this round. And now with the smoke down, Heap can escape as well. He even spams your kinder retreating to go get that bomb. Now they don't have it. Now they just got it all in. And they're dead to a pistol. James trades on 10 health. He's going to go for save. And I think that's a good call at this point. The bomb is too far away to win this round. However, if they try save, Heap is aggressive. Oh, yeah. That, I mean, that part's super awkward, right? Like, James written this one off. Still, this guy knows where to go if you want to find safety in the saves. He'll get away with the AWP. And the AK retrieval for Flit. Also going to be able to take that out of the round. Heap is hunting for them. It shouldn't be able to locate these guys. He's coming up. Oh, no. James dead. Not many people can beat wow. him in the save. And that's after time as well. Oh. Oh, that's going to sting. That'll leave that's him That's going to hurt. Yeah, James got to be in his head a little bit here, right? Like, this is this is a team that made top eight last major. And they might not even, you know, go through to, to even the challenger stage. This is crazy. Broken. Saves denied. A map down. Clutches lost. These are not outsiders' rounds. These are not what we expect to see from this team. And Halsuk just pushed the B smoke for an opening kill. Audacious, even. He was getting pretty wired towards the end of Mirage as well on that CT half. Yakinda, maybe an entry round for him. He's running him up. Buster throwing smokes blind. Yet yeah, Lekro hits it. He eats the smoke, but they back out. Triple CT setup here already. That nade is a problem, but it actually falls short, hits the wall, or might have to do it instead. How Zuck hits it on the jiggle as an apps player holding his reswing, but Freiburg looks aware and he's got the info. Buster's been able to grab that AK. The bomb's going back down through middle, but I mean, still, like, there you starting to crunch these oh. guys on short. Lecro lines up a double, and it's only Jame left standing. He's even doubting his own ability to save, so he's going to try and give this one a look in. Nullified at every turn, oh, no. and there's the closer. Six to three, Dignitas still building up, still trending upwards. I love this idea that, you know, for guys like Forrest and Freiburg, they've, like, transcended across generations of Counter-Strike yeah. that's been played. This isn't the first time they've played versus a team that liked to play around with the clock. Even some of their biggest, you know, Swedish rivals back with Pronax's led Fnatic back in the day. Very, very slow team. Zeus's Na'Vi's of old. Now, they've seen this style of play before. And CS, the meta as a whole might have changed a lot, but the pacing still feels all too similar to these guys. Yeah, we just saw Halzer getting loud, you know, shouting around. Heap had a cheeky little smile on his face. Forrest and Freiburg, calm and concise as ever. And, you know, this would be first major for these two in the young'uns of Halzer and Heap. What a way to do it. Obviously, they still have to win their 2-2 game if they manage to take down outsiders here and now. This is only to dodge elimination, but... Really, sky's the limit right now. Proving to not be ruffled when the stakes are high. Alzerk hits a leg. Nave could be naughty. Flit will eat it. Viper comes in off a block and they're running him down. They might have an AWP here. Something to give Jame. They're baiting each other. Someone needs to make this call. Oh, into the Glock. There they go. Now Buster gives the AWP to Jame. Freiburg's shut the net from behind and he will give this up. Jame's going to hunt the kill. Good shot. That opens up the B site. There's only Heap here, but he is in spawn and he is every single step. They've run right by. Oh, that's the bomb. Now drop. Jame's Awkward. even been spotted. And he's just not going to give you the fight. He's just going to hide himself away. Yeah. Oh, no, you can't oh, do that. Oh, oh, on the roof. There we go. It's on the roof. And now James oh, fighting what? with the Glock. He got the, the AWP. He got the AWP back again. <laughs> it's like a boomerang. Can't get rid of it. And there he is.
he is finished off by Forrest, who will go on to save that AWP. Oh. Dig Archer's winning these rounds, but they're stopping James' economy manipulation every single time. Yeah, no saves. Dig have put up the barriers. They've put up the fences around the edge of the map. They've made those roofs so vertical that the guns are sliding off the top. They've lubricated the ceiling, Harry. There's no throwing these orbs out. Whether you like it or not, James, it will come back to your hands and we will take it out. That was Hal's Oaks Orb in the first place and it rests back in the palms of Dignitas. Nice kill for James at the end, but you can see 10 seconds running there. Even if Forrest isn't there, Jane can't plant. There is simply no time. Forrest has pushed down mid now, and Halzuk supporting with an opening kill from the B side. Jane will be waiting in T-spawn to receive, but Lecro gets a one for one and gets out. A one for none, rather. No punishment yet. Maybe Flick can deliver it here in middle, but does he hard clear the corner? No, still gets the... Frag and now late coming up from apps is James. Molly forces Freiburg wide, but he ticks in the Molotov. They might have heard this. Is James aware? Is James ready? Freiburg here to lock it down. Oh, no one looked ready. Yeah, Freiburg gonna deal with wow. them both from down in the pit. Dignitas on fire right now. 8 3. 8 3. They are running away, not just with this map, but with this series. And I mean, what a, what a victory that would be. Yeah, and at least last map, we had like a couple of reasons to get hyped. We had your kinder popping off with lots of entry kills. Really good KD was coming in with impactful rounds, but right now there's no one saving outsiders. They're getting desperate. Some of the some of the opening players of, you know, Buster 0-2, Flit 0-3 in these opening fights. Your kinder doesn't have one either. Outsiders, this is a bit of a stale day for them. And Dignitas are capitalizing completely. They're flowing. You see them. Halzogs pushing through smokes. Lecro and Forrest are running down mid. Already talked about the economy denial that Dig have aspired to. Halzogs back to A. He's got a lovely spawn for it as well. Not going too wide. The flash is good. He's going to bound out of the angle. It's only pistols here. This is a good round to run wild. Outsiders, when they switch up the pace, sometimes they can be really threatening if they keep the spacing tight. They are right now three running at mid together, going alongside again. There's no one here. It's the gap. Dig have started triple B. Maybe the nades have been heard and outsiders seem to have a realization they can come through this moto smoke on an A play or they can back up into this heavy CT spawn hold. Once again, they've thrown a deeper moto smoke and they look tempted by the prospect. Flashed out, delayed, denied, but they're going to go. Halzak really needs to be careful. He's not holding on to the apartments. So oh. right now there is a big gap. There's a big problem. Now trying to hold on to the pit. Only one as Flit drops in. The double hold. The double hold's been overwhelmed. Flit now armed with the AWP. Trying to get anything that isn't that AWP. Smoke's going to fade. And Freiburg's out in the open. Oh. Flit's traded. They do deal with the pit man. For Lecro and Heap, it's a weird decision. In this two on three, do they want to go for it? Do they want to try and break through? They're getting wrapped on long. They're not considering it. Oh. A turn for Lecro, but he's still cut down. And Heap now all alone up into the graveyard. Yeah. Trying Ooh. to win a one on three. Oh, it's a dink. But Jane will lock the frag in and outsiders find a fourth with the quick A play on pistols. Oh, it felt like when we see outsiders do this, like when, when they're doing best and they're, they're able to switch up the pace, they're able to run these really slow, meticulous rounds, and then every now and then throw in a really speedy one. That's when they really keep you, you know, on, uh, like catch you by surprise rather because you want to save your util till late you don't want to be throwing spawn mollies every time in middle and then outside they start rushing you and you you're just caught with either nades out or you never get to use them that's more like for outsiders a really quick long take didn't have to do their best to stall it out <laughs> through the gutter but yeah great trading james hits a beautiful orb shot at the end that flit set him up for after throwing him the orb and Halzak only getting one in the entire A defense. No one else gets an, a, any kill. It was pretty cooked for Dignitas. Maybe that's a way back in. Maybe there's a route here for outsiders to get a good T side. Six would do. Got money. They've got an AWP. Have they got the round? Halzak, he keeps trying to take this fight. They're running up here again. Oh, these nades. Triple oh HE. God, just a volley of util from either side. Up and down banana. 
Flush. I burst, but it's damaged. Ah, oh, bodies for him to spam through this smoke. But ultimately, he's the one left looking worse for wear. Deep. Playing with fire. Via playing with smokes. Well, to eventually lean away, you'd like to think. Ooh. He's done so much Ooh. damage this round. They're just tickling them. They're just getting Ooh. down towards but our little tickles. Outsiders aren't laughing, mate. They no. are stone no cold, a stern face. And they might get caught. Oh, he even got one. Jame, good trade, but I don't know how he even gets a kill there. Are they going to run one of their BXX? Because they did look good early in the game. It was retakes for Dig that they were winning ultimately. But the early couple of rounds the outsiders do have in their pocket would be executed. The Dig attacks were too slow to rotate on. And Harry, if there were any round for that to be the case, it would be the double pit setup. This is a fake, though. They're going back into A. I think it's kind of wild. It's like Freiburg started this round over at B. He's in pit with they Forrest. They've, they've put Forrest and Freiburg together. Mollied out, Forrest takes wow. one of the grave with him. They're going back in a oh, B, no, but that Lecro. push from Lecro has given a kill over. Halzerk now has to fill the void. He's the only know. guy with health. Got the AWP and dead, swinging. And Buster secures the B play. That is so devastating. That is an overstep from Lecro, trying to hound them down, thinking that after they're spotted up short with only 30 seconds left, that means it's the A play, and it's like yeah. all of a sudden you forgot who you were up against. They also faked it out. Jane fired an AWP shot through the smoke. That was very purposeful, right? They threw a BX, like, then they showed A in hoping that B looked like a fake, but B was always the objective. Flit dies immediately, but Jane firing a shot, Flit getting spotted. That seemed enough for Dig to activate a flank. And outsiders, they bring it down to the last few seconds of the round where they do their best work. Nice round out of Jamin Buster with the entries into B. And it's left saving in the pit for Forrest and Freiburg. Very awkward for Lecro. Caught jumping. If he wasn't in the air, maybe he even gets one. And then Halzok, you know, he set up with a 1v1 on B. Or they have to wait for James to get all the way back from that mid position. Getting a bit stressful these rounds. As outsiders keep dig guessing. And we said six might do there on the border of it. A warp here for Halzog. Money is kaput. If outsiders win this round, they're even set up for seven. Buy one, get one free. Oh, flash peak. Everyone's blind. But Jane won't get that opener this time. Hello. Oh, just wait and Buster will deliver you openers. A rough spot to be in now for Dignitas, right? Man down, gonna force them to kind of spread their resources pretty thin on this one. Gonna divvy it up 2-2 two -two between either bomb site. Maybe even taking a bit of a gamble. You know, Lecro never never want to resist calling these. Oh, they're ready. It was more often than gambles on A. This is a very ballsy call to make, and they're actually gonna start to regret it now. Moving Electro back to that A site. Will he get set up inside in time? Forrest is blind. They're going to run him down on long. He can go library, but there's no option back in for Forrest. He's cut out of this round for the time being, unless he wants to dive through a smoke like a madman. Just trying to clear it. That's the bomb. That's confirmation. Now they can start running rotates. Freiburg can even push Banana. He again oh is a long way away. Oh. Forrest has gone through the smoke. Lecro is cleared out. That gives a plant. Surely they can get a smoke in, but Forrest is very fast on the flank. And Flit is ready for it, hearing every single step. Halzok in the open might want to wait for Freiburg, who's late. And James still sits in with an orb, ready with Flit to peek off his contact. That's a beautiful shot. Freiburg can't do it today. And Outsiders not only win the round, but break the money at the end of the half. Yeah, man, that's a bit of a shame, right? Like, you're in such a good position. I think sometimes, you know, it's just a matter of kind of knowing when to slow it down. Forrest, obviously, you know, he's already kind of netted a frag on the back of his aggression. He's trying to be this, like, savior of the round, but takes a big risk running it down short like he does. And it leaves his teammates, you know, split apart in a, in a 2v2 and an even odds bout where, where Halzerk was just out on an island. Ooh. Very awkward. This round starts much the same in as the, the last you have hidden in this smoke. There is Halzerk waiting. 
Oh, he's retrieved an M4. Now no he's coming way. in. It's a chance at something. No scope misses. But luckily enough, Buster's there to lend a helping hand again. In yeah. these B plays, him and Kicker instrumental. As outsiders chomp down on the B site, it's just Forrest and Lecro. An orchestra of death. Up in Banana, almost a chance for that hidden smoke play for Halzerk. Lecro can lob in mollies, but that part's already been allowed, and all he's done is slow down his retake, and I say that like there's a chance. A two-on-four for the half. Forest. that's a long-range CZ shot, but quickly replenished with a smoke. More util to buy more time, and, well, that's the name of the game for Jame. Hits a shot through the smoke from Quad and closes the half. Looking better towards the end for Jame. Some faster rounds, some fake outs, Banana control one out by outsiders, and now they end with seven. That's that's more than okay. That's perfect, in fact, on this T side. Dig are not out of the woods yet. They have not shut down this series, nor eliminated outsiders. Oh, if that if that first kill for Halzak is a little cleaner, he's given more time to post up for another kill, and who knows what that could have looked like. It's a rough. Yeah, he feels it. That back turn on the first player kind of put him off. It seems like outsiders are only now just getting started, getting warmed up, getting louder. We saw Yakinda's hype. 5 and 12, but this is a guy who can activate late. And those odds right down the middle. Anyone's game here as we swap sides. The aggro, Hauserk has actually missed these timings, doesn't know the full extent. Now here's the footsteps, but that's the only warning Dignitas got. Forrest going down. Ooh. Going down through the tunnel, going to try and bop oh. his way up, but he's just cancelled out right away. Lecro is going to do the same thing, and it didn't go so well for the last guy, so he's going to elect to get the hell out of there. Oh. Turning quickly, Buster's come alive in these last few rounds. That's one hell of a pistol. Full disrespect, not outside his S, running down middle. It's like pug strats, you know, play super safe on T, play super aggressive CT, just catching Dignitas by surprise. They can't get anything, any footing in that round, any control in mid. And Dig have insta-forced. They've done well at this in the series already and losing pistol, but picking up second round. Hey, they did it even in this first half. And that really put outsiders on the back burner. Jame on an oomph. Saving that $50 between buying an MP9 makes every difference as an all put. I mean, if there's one thing he's good at, it is money management, yeah. right? He's probably a sick poker player. Uh, you can't, his bluffing face is just, it never changes. You don't know. So you're calling him a liar? So you'd be damn good at it. Okay. Well, here we are. A little apartments take out of Dignitas. Nice try, officer. Yeah, I'll get you next time. <laughs> Two on the short side for outsiders. And Hong smokes oh. in. Oh, it's a little awkward, man. Yum, yum, yum. Trying to get out into the double porch setup. Oh, Hang on a moment. Okay. Let's pump the brakes, because Forrest and Hauser can both come in with a killer piece. Flit tries his hands at the smoke spam. Don't know how he dealt with Le Le Lecro so easily. Plant now in. About to come in. Oh, they're running through. It. Oh my goodness, they're running oh. out the forest. Misspray. Well, course correct. Bringing it back to the 1v2, nice. however. Up, over, and in his face, it's Yakindar there to get the better of him. Oh, he was so ready to swap sides, wasn't he? Five kills at halftime, already up to eight now in just two rounds. And that is so aggressive for outsiders. They know their men up. And, and while Digger just trying to get set up, try and plant the bomb, try and pick spots. They're getting chased through a smoke with a flash. I love that call for outsiders. Something's changed, right? They've suddenly come in with a lot more hype. A lot faster pace near the end of that T side, and that has dragged over into the second half. They don't let Dig relax. Jame, even going apps with the MP9, should be spotted on that cross. So realization is there. Watch out for that alt mid play. It's only pistols here. Dig 
like hoping outsiders go one step too far. Bro, where's the Lecro Deagle? That's what I want to know. That's true. But it's a pretty today. quiet day in the office yeah, for he, his Deagle. He didn't pop off against Gamer Legion with it either. In that turn of five game, man, he was one digging Orpers. Winning rounds with triple taps. I think it's about time for Lecro to whip out the old hand cannon. He's up at the front of the pack. Ikenar's taking control of Banana. Mm. This is heard by the guys in middle, but there isn't really a lot they can do about it. Lecro would have loved that opener. They're going to go it's back and try to chase your kid who's oh. in their spawn. Oh, it's so awkward. Hauserk dead. Lecro falls. And the man that went back hunting in Freiburg is cut down. Yeah, James also got out his money printing machine. These two rounds, he's got a double kill with SMGs, paying for themselves or themselves. And now he's got an AWP. In the first gunny. So don't tell the SEC about James. Don't tell the IRS. No one needs to know. Big Green is out. Side rounds out of dig have been very, very slow to you know get going. Ooh. <laughs> Not the case for the other side. Outsiders more than willing to fight over at Banana. God, they have really been throwing themselves at dig. It's all kind half. of kind of sickening, right? Because yeah. like, it's not really the style you're too used to seeing out of outsiders. Like, yeah, they might throw in like one or two aggressive, you know, more aggressive rounds in a game, but oftentimes it is this like slower, more methodical style, and it feels like their their commitment to that started to hinder them. And then they went, okay, you know what? They want us to play a little faster. They want us to play. You know, a little more, uh, a little more loose. Fine, we'll do that. We'll meet yeah. them in the middle. That's like and a, that's like a halftime call, guys. We're just better than them. Let's, let's, let's prove it. Let's show that we're better. And your kid is like double his score in four rounds. So he's been at the forefront of it. He was the one running through the moto, smoking that retake. They have long down, but that smoke is not good, and it's fading anyway. Soon enough. Ooh. Oh, I don't know. It doesn't matter. He still wins a fight. He pushes another smoke. Buster, one for one, is fine. He gets the forewarning that this is indeed an A play. Bomb dropped. Kicker goes up and over and puts Heap down. It's 11 to outsiders. This CT side has been phenomenal. Aggression all across the board, man. And it's just netting success after success for the outsiders. Pressure's on now for the dig boys. Feels like, you know, it's really started to slow. The, the, that pendulum of momentum very much going back the other way. Something needs to change soon or else it might never change at all. And then we're destined to go with the distance in this matchup. Of course, that third and final map waiting in the wings. Bit of overpass should outsiders send us there. Yeah, still a big question. Got to see a couple more gun rounds out of dig, but right now they've just not had their foot in the door and definitely got to get ahead of this aggressive CT side start for outsiders. They really set the precedent with that five-man mid push in the pistol and they never really stopped. Focus faces. And hopefully getting back in now as we have yet another AWP for Jane, but more pistols to run him down. Triple B start, dig, they're avoiding it, they're going out mid. If they go quick, they could completely bypass this setup. 
Yeah, but that's the problem, man. Like, they haven't really gone fast at all on this T side. Like, so many of these rounds, even the low economy ones, have had the same kind of slow rambling around the map vibe to them. Outsiders, one of the things that we kind of have to give them credit for is on their T side, when the going did get tough, they weren't afraid to, especially in rounds like this one, take them a little more loose, a little more explosive. And it was all the better for it. Yeah, right. Dignitas have gotten themselves into the uh, into the apartments. They silent boost to get there. Now they lob all this util over. Trying to close oh. the gap there. Molly, they're just going to go running through it. Smoke on top of it now, but the util continues to rain in. Flit's able to corral them back under control on wow. the short side. And outsiders, that is a flawless round. Putting a stop to the A-rush. Sending themselves up on a 12. They're the ones. Now streaking rounds together. That's rough for Dig. They double nade pit and they put Kick it on four health, but he just doesn't re peek and he never dies. Meanwhile, Jame is graveyard and, well, he makes a special tombstone just for Dig there. Three kills with the AWP and Deagle. Jame loves the Deagle with the AWP. Meanwhile, FaZe, you can see in the top right of 2 0 their series against Maus, managing to go through to the Major as Legends. Getting that third legend spot. There's still a fourth up for grabs. It's going to be the fourth place decider match for three one teams. And if you want to attend the major, you have a slightly easier route than yeah. the guys in the server. Ah. You can just scan that QR code. Wait, really? Yeah. I don't have to play through an open qualifier? No, it's it's super easy for you, man. Pay to win. Right, outsiders on Ooh. fire, a hot streak. Nades down banana to put a stop to Dig's aggression here. Nothing uh -oh. has been working on this T side. Freiburg getting burnt alive, has to smoke the molly. Oh, oh. okay, <laughs> heap through the smoke. And will they look to do something on the back of that kill? They've seen enough you can the demos to know where exactly this shoot right up banana. Finally, the aggression on the CT side is punished. This is the first round where Dig have done that and gotten out scot-free. And look at the panic that it's caused. Outsiders, they could just get walked on a mid. Luckily, they're getting respect, but they're trying to figure out who goes where, who takes what nades, how hard do we stack. This is a very Outsiders call, right? Just leaning, going for a full gamble. They still have Flit on A, but he's on 20 health. He, he can't really offer up much. And if, if Dig goes short, this round is just over before it's even begun. They are going to walk into him. Flit hits a headshot. Forrest just creeps into the angle. Freiburg's going to follow up on the trade. That's the off angle that Freiburg was even playing on that CT side at times. Oh, no, sorry, it was Forrest. So surprising to see him you know, not ready for that position. Even so, that was the kill they needed. Outsiders made their classic economy-based call. They lent triple B. They hoped for the best. Without that commit for Dig, it is going to have to be a save. Inferno's a map that really leans into those kind of plays, those kind of setups. And so even though Outsiders have money for days off of their five-round streak, nothing wrong with making that decision. We'll offer up uh, Dig around, though. We'll break them into the T side as they try and pull this back on Outsiders map pick now. Yeah, that's one step in the right direction, right? But you finally break this streak. And I mean, there was a point in time where this was, uh, this was an 8-3 scoreline, right? So, you know, yeah. Outsiders had similar kind of odds stacked against them when they got there first on their way to streaking together all these rounds on the board. Journey has to start somewhere, and Dignitas are hoping it starts now. There's a little bit of chance helping propel them to that point. The smoke shot from Heap. Rest of the gang following suit. That save means this is a cheaper reinvestment for outsiders. This is you know, how they have so much staying power in these games. I like that. Sometimes you see players use smokes and they don't have to, and I think it's better to be safe than sorry, but he doesn't panic, and now he still has his utility and full health. Orp fires off a B off the flash, and so now they know where Jame is, but the question is where... Or sorry, the question is, is it Jame? 
It's not. Buster's here. It's a second AWP. They've got one per bomb site. No panic rotate needed. But Dig might go, ah, the orb's B. Let's go A. But the orb is also A. Outsiders having their cake and eating it. Flitz even cheating back over, but only to re-smoke top B. And dig while they walk away, they waltz right back in, hoping that outsiders have gained that information or misinformation. Stalemate at 40 seconds. And dig, it's not clear where they want to end. The bomb's on A, but they're still putting a lot of onus on this B bomb site right now. And they don't really have the util to fake anything out. It's just two smokes on B. That won't do much. It's not going to shift outsiders. They're still incorrectly gambling. And they don't even have a flash. Yakin is just going to make that hero play. And what a play it is. Look at him knife out. This is Yakinda all over. And he might just win the round off this. This is insane. They're setting up util. Oh, oh. heap turns on a dime. Tick has dealt with it. But now there's so little time left to make the play into a stack day bomb site. There shouldn't be anything that Dignitas can oh. do. They burn out the man in the pit, but that's the end of the line, and outsiders win the round. Forrest is waiting so long for you, uh, for, sorry, for a kicker to peek there in pit, but he just sat in the molly and dies in it just to buy a few seconds. He even took a kill with him. Forrest may have hit the jumping AK spray on flip, but I love that play for Yakinda. And, and the reason it's so good is because, yes, there's no flash there. It's very risky. If, they are, if Dig are all there and he dies, he's still got two teammates in B, but also with no flash, Dig can't hear it and go, oh, they've, they've cleared banana. They know we're co coming. They're going to be stacked. They're going to be flanking. King. You can just runs knife out down banana and shoot stick in the back. Only one kill, but the dink on the follow up and all the info in the world. That's such a sick play. You can add five kills at halftime. He's definitely come in with uh, you know some paramount impact in this second half. James 20 and nine. Felt like outsiders could do no right on the T side, but it was those. It was those those couple of sped rounds with tech nines that they picked up the reinvigorated outsiders and now have us here. Dig may break the streak, but they won't hold on for long. Jamin will, in fact, give exactly that up. But rotating back into this apps angle for Lecro, almost caught. Look at Dig, they've walked all the way into A. Right now it's only Kicker, he has no idea how close they are. Oh, this is so weird for Kicker. Oh, swinging out. He will get the info, but he's quickly dealt oh, with. No. Oh, no. That's a little awkward for Forrest. James hit it. Uh-oh. James also dealt with Freiburg over at long. Outsiders might have lent into a save on numbers alone, and you wouldn't have blamed them. But now in a four on three, you can more than justify attempting this one. Two mollies. Plenty of util to make it happen. Hits as well. They've got time. They've got utility. They've got... Players moving around. Flitz traded out onto the AK. They want to give this a go. They want to give it a try. Up through the short side. You're kidding, lobbing a smoke over. That's one to block off pit. It's going to try and deny some of these angles. Oh, they burnt out the man in graveyard. Lecro's blinded and cleared. Outside his times. Running away from them. The bomb's planted. Super what? safe. Forrest has left the apartments. But there isn't time anyway. Good for the double. Outsiders might get a bunch of kills. I think Natasha lucky to have won that round. I think there was time. I mean, the bar is misleading. You can't always tell, but that was damn close. It just took them too long to figure out what the plant spot was. And Forrest is living. It put the fear in them. They didn't even want to try and gamble it, but they may as well put a player on that bomb. Dude, there's some like mental aspect of these guys clutching versus Boris, though. Like, cause it feels fairly consistent that they like get in their own head a bit in those moments. Yeah. Is that a 1v4 or 1v3 out of Forest just by living and staying alive late in Boiler? I don't know. I think Outsiders, damn, that's a robbed round. That should be theirs all over. I guess I trust their timekeeping, but... Would have been nice to see someone just jump on that bomb there and give it a go. Very, very scary round. They took too long, right? I think it was Yakinda running all the way back down mid to throw that pit smoke. It was good. They had the right utility. They burn out the, the players in the site, but they 
They spent far too long setting up and it will cost them. This time Dig will not wait for anyone, especially not these CTs running in. Heat with a double. Freiburg helps Halzak on top. Kicker, he's got one kill, but he needs to buy more. There's a second hiding out in the pit. They run him down. Great trade for Halzak, leaving Buster's second off in a clutch. A 1v2. He is just going to walk right through, but then the second smoke comes in. He doubts it. They stick the plant. How's it gets it? Both players in the bomb site. They don't know Buster's here. There's no confirmation. And if Buster isn't fed, maybe he's the one who stays hungry. Maybe he goes back to save. But that's not going to happen if Halzerk is here. This is huge, man. That's a freebie for Halzerk. Oh, my word. Dig. This is them starting to build back in. I mean, it felt like outsiders were just going to kind of right their wrongs. We all forget about how close Inferno was in the beginning, how one-sided it was looking. They went on this huge streak, right? This huge streak of rounds. I think it was 10 in a row. Nine. Yeah. And a man like... Now, Dignitas right at the finish line, breaking the money of outsiders. Realizing that they don't have to play this, slew, this super slow style. They can throw a faster round in here and there. Sometimes it's ideal, especially with outsiders taking these triple B lean gambles a lot of the time. Dear, oh dear. This is a fury of buy. This wasn't a save door. This is a, oh my God, the nade is perfect. Jane bought this all into a, a full eco. No Kevlar anywhere else. He's been dunked. And that's just a random nade from Forrest. But again, the experience play has shown through today for this man. Winning all those clutches on Mirage. Multiple 1v1s. Winning one here now on Inferno. Now they are going B into the stack. But again, this is only pistols. Dark Molly's ready. It's going to really limit the positions available for outsiders. A smoke spam. With one down, they have to go through. Yukinda's playing for a oh knife kill of the smoke. God. This might be his best bet. He is hiding out. Pistol now looking for a one free kill, and he's got it. Forrest, easy frag. Gets the AK. But they're smoked off, and they shoot him right through it. They are looking for the gun, but they're quick to respond. They know your game plan here, James. Time. Just looking to get away with the AWP. And so Dignitas are up onto 12. They are trying to launch a comeback here versus one of the best comeback teams in Counter-Strike. Said that one weirdly, didn't I? Outsiders. Oh, the pressure is really on. This is their map pick. They had a huge turnaround here. They battled back against the Dignitas that looked so strong early on to the point where, you know, it, it became such a such a recovery for outsiders that you thought Dignitas were just getting beaten into the ground yeah. after a while. But they've still got fight left in them. They're still giving it all they've got. They've closed this gap up. This is where the pressure starts to get applied to outsiders. They are the ones staring elimination in the face. If Dig lose this, there's still a third map waiting in yeah. the wings. There's still a chance for them. But if this is stolen away from outsiders right at the end, something that they've dealt to countless teams over the years, it's them who have the major dream stolen away. Fast up B, Dig. The pace change off the back of their pauses has been the way in, right? They've been just pummeling A site executes with long wraps, with apps pops. They wanted a quick B. They don't commit to it. Going back for utility is Freiburg. Worth every penny. And what a win this would be again. You know, the, the talking point of the time is, is age and Counter-Strike is how old can you go? How old can you be when you're still peaking? Oh, 30 year old, may as well retire. And, and, you know, rightly shot down by many of the tier one players that we still have in the scene, still winning trophies. Carrigan's the best talking point, but Forrest, a year older, must be considered as well. This guy is sickeningly good still. Back to Banana Take. Buster throws that smoke. That will force Dig's hand out. They're going to boost over the logs. So if anyone does re-aggress, they get that information. Don't need to worry yet with Heap over the top. Dig, they just want to do a flat B execute in this round. They're playing for nothing else. Flit has read it well. He's rotated. And there's enough util to stall this play. 
they could throw two XX if they want. But there's only 20 seconds, so they've got to commit off the first. Oh, yeah, this is actually kind of awkward with the triple setup here. Big, this isn't as easy as you might think. The Molly's burning TikTok. them as they come through. They've got to go in. They've got to get this bomb down now. They're giving a bit of room. The spam could win it. Your kinder. Oh, it's just a Whoa. little off the mark. And they're going to find him through the smoke. Outsiders, three on four. You know what they would normally do here. You know what they would normally call, and that's the save. Will they do it with the threat of Dignitas tying this game up it's at 13 no all? Yeah, they're out of there. They cannot justify giving this one a go. And Sadig, they they do to outsiders what outsiders do best. One of these final second pushes. At, you know, really, like the 10 second mark as they're coming through that smoke into a Molotov at Banana. And they managed to win the round. Now to tie it up at 13 all. They didn't just fight back against this slow style from the outsiders, this methodical play in the first half. Now they're trying to do it back to them on their T side. Unbelievable. I mean, Heap as well. He is popping off right now. That's a double entry into B with 10 seconds. The smoke spam, the second clear. And we mentioned this earlier, but for Heap and Halzer, still re really young players playing with the legends of Freiburg and Forest. Like these guys, they've never been to a major. This would be their first. Not off this game. Still got a 2 2 game to play for the winner of this matchup. But Dignitas, they have drawn this all the way back. They are favorites right now, as far as I'm concerned. And winning one round right now and a clean one at that, one where outsiders can't save, would put their money in the dirt at 14 13. These saves are paramount. They were they were a necessity for outsiders. But you can't save forever. Eventually, you've got to convert a round. And that's four in a row. Five out of six for Dig. After that nine-round streak you mentioned, outsiders have gone silent. It was aggression that was getting them there, Harry. It was Yakinda running down Banana with his knife out. It was Jane pushing down mid. No longer. Outsiders have been tapered. Neutered, rather. Timid. And at this point in the game, who isn't? No one wants to make that mistake. No one wants to be 4v5 in the first 20 seconds. Dig included. Trading utility from the safest of places. And Dig pop. Oops. Even a T-Orp. Halzok's working for a mid-pick. And again, dig. they keep doing this. They haven't really been faking today. Most of these rounds, whether they're fast or slow, they are just five-man executes into a site, and this is no exception. Yeah, this blanket of utility goes down over A, right? Locking off all these angles at long, giving you the, the prime area to take and go for this A wrap. They're going to go through that moto smoke. They've got no qualms about doing that with attention being pulled towards short. It's only going to oh, make him stronger. Hurt. Kicker, this is his time to shine. Bit oh. of support. Kicker with a double. He loses his teammate in the pit. And Freiburg with the transfer brings it back to a 1v2. Yakinda fast through Banana. And Buster on the long side. Freiburg might just get shot in the side of the head here. Needs to go a little bit deeper. Needs to play within the confines of this bomb site. He's going to go hunting for Buster. Oh. oh, just off the mark. And Buster will pick it up. 14 now for the outsiders. They don't give the lead over just yet. You can meet us. You can tie the game up. But we will not give that lead, say the outsiders. Yeah, this is where they do their best work, right? One ahead, right there, 28 rounds deep. Just when you think you've broken their morale, their spirit, you've gotten comfortable. You can never let your guard down against this roster. Flit and kick, a beautiful hole from them. Four between the two, shutting down that short hit for Dig. Those flashes did nothing to get kick it off balcony. And Dig call out their t uh, final tack timeout. Boy, oh boy. You just don't know who to bet on at this point. You don't know who to lean on. James has had a, a really good map here as well. It felt like he definitely dropped the ball, not only for kills on, on Mirage, but also just the leading on that T side. There was nothing that was cracking in. They had a couple of nice con splits. They, they barely even went B. They couldn't get through Lecro when they did. 
felt like it wasn't there. They've had the depth on this map. A solid seven round T side, a massive comeback on the second half, and the lead now all to play for. That one little hiccup, get to Dignitas. Well, this all gets settled on overpasses the decider. Do they still have fight left in them? Bombs dropped back at T-Rab. The rounds have gone back to this slower style of play. Oh, 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 oh. kick out of Forest. Great deal of mutual respect between the two. They give each other a little wave in the boiler and then both go their separate ways. No one wants that fight, right? No one wants that opening duel. Rather wait for the execute, and Dig have been, as said, full of them on the T side, lining up more of these blanket bombsite attacks. Smokes, flashes, mollies. How announced is this one? That's a good smoke timing. Lecro, he might just have to dive out into the unknown. He does have a cart smoke as well. Smoked out at long, though. Dig. They've got to wait longer and longer. 30 seconds now. It's all coming together. It's all appearing clear for outsiders and kicker. Now he wants to force the fight. Yeah, peeking out, swinging this one. Forrest on the receiving end. Oh. Can't quite get back into the site in time. This time there also isn't a pit component. Flitz in the site, and so he's run down. Shane can't help. He's trapped on the other side of the moto smoke. Oh, Ooh, if he fired, that would have been fired. dead on. That would have been dead on instead. No. Outsiders are running this one away. They're saving. They're giving over 14. They have to. They have to. This is not the wrong call. This is the right call. This is the worst call to make. And it's so decisive. It's instant. But a bit of you asks, what if James clicked? I can't believe the balls of Dignitas to, to go back to the exact yeah. same call that just failed and that just gave over 14 to the opponent. And they go, no, this time we do it right. This time we make it work. Of that belief that even if they know what you're doing, if you all do your job well, you can still get through regardless. Yeah, and, and not a great setup either this time, right? Whether it was kick, uh, like the push up was nice, but, but they were so fast at trading that kill. And when you get that entry on Inferno, as you know, you just steamroll if you've got the chance, especially when that execute was primed and ready to go. James smoked off at Moto and Flit, not even in pit, couldn't even get a single kill from the boost box in the site. Did go two for one on an entry, and that may be as good as done for 14. Here it is. Outsiders. They fought long and hard to bring this game back, but is it all in vain? Is it elimination now? Triple B. Lobbing nades. Freiburg responds with a smoke just to keep outsiders attentive. And Kinder, more than that, pushed all the way down. As is tradition, they spam him. They spam him. And Freiburg, the king of banana, makes his mark. No, as if it can't be this poetic. He's won the first. James about to re-swing him. Oh, the flash gets him off the angle, but he wants to go back in. He knows that risks have got to be taken. Tucked in the corner. Freiburg still waits. Up and past the smoke. If he rolls back the years now, if he double entries B, I'll be lost for words. It's damage to Jamie. He's got to run. He's got to get out of there. And Freiburg's giving chase. Halzerk's on the angle. This fight matters so oh. much. And James going to hold on. Managing to retreat back into the B site. Now calling for rotations. There were definitely chances there for Dig. But James threads the needle. Toes that thin line between life and death. And has managed to make this a four on four. 35 seconds. Dignitas time is not their friend right now. Oh my God, it's a gamble. They're leaving James alone on B. Buster's even rotated off. They're so convinced because of all these A plays that Dig have done. Those have been the best bets. Those have been the best T rounds. Full executes and they're going back for it. Harry, there's no time. 20 seconds and look at what's been made for outsiders. They've got this double pit bulk setup. This has been perfection when they've done it before. 15 on the clock. Kicker runs at them and he doubles up. Heap trades all on flit in the pit. He's going to get one and there simply is no chance for Heap. They are running him down and outsiders find 15 first. B was free, but they will never know. And that is map point over past the end and a timeout before we get there. 
<laughs> oh my God. There is just a part of you that, that I, man, I find myself asking, like, what if Freiburg did just commit yeah. to that fight to James? Yeah. What if he just ran at him? Because you know, I've kind of given him this moniker throughout this event, Freiburg the fearless. Throughout all of these games, the one thing that he's never really done is show any sort of fear, any sort of hesitancy in terms of just taking fights. And it doesn't always work. This comes with the territory. It comes with the pressure. He was so focused on not being a liability that you're just left wondering, oh, it could have been so much more. Instead, a beautiful gamble out of the outsiders. That decision to leave James, who at that point in the round was like 10 points of health, yeah. to solo anchor the B bomb site. It's a hell of a read. You've got to respect it. And it might have saved outsiders in this one. We're going the full 30. Let's see if Dignitas can manage to send us into bonus play. Yeah, bonus player, a bonus map. One that we didn't think we were going to get at some point in this game. But outsiders through thick and thin. They held on. Not done, though. Jane back on B. Back on his BS. Looking for the kill through the gap in the smoke. Freiburg is here. Oh, I don't trust him. Very close on this spam again. And your kind is nowhere near it. Last Look two times. He, yeah, this oh is so my. outsiders, man. This is all they do. And why wouldn't they? It's all Dig have done. A executes. And it's an early one as well. Five on five no. in a bomb site. Dig are walking to their death, their demise. They've loved all the util in this time. They're trying to give themselves time, but it's the sheer oh. number. Freiburg running in. Doesn't know about Buster, who will deal with the first. Doubles down. It's all on no Jane. Way. 1v2. Can't save now. Freiburg was out for revenge. He's teed up Dignitas. It's Heap and Lecro left versus the AWP versus the IGL. He would love to save here, but there physically isn't enough rounds. James wrapping the short side. This guy often looks so lethal when he's forced to play a clutch, when he has to attempt it. He's taking so much time walking through the apartments. He's got to have a trick up his sleeve. James, the wizard. Oh, oh, nails the shot. One man still to find. Drops into the site. He, oh, oh, no, it's go down. And James, it's so close. Outsiders, it's all on this. And the time, it just eludes them. We're going to overtime. Oh, my goodness. James and his TARDIS sending us back to more rounds. I cannot believe it. The accountant, the time lord, but he didn't account for that a millisecond away from a third map in the series, but now Dignitas fight on. They're gonna throw more and more A-smokes, Harry, even if all of Outsiders are there. That one is unbelievable. They did not expect the AWP to go from long to apps. What a no-scope, what an attempt, what a try, but not today. Like, I, yeah, you couldn't have asked for more out of James now, you couldn't. He, he just gave that everything he had, all he got. They thought it was done. They thought it was over. Dignitas were convinced. And then the realization dawns on them. Oh. Calculated. They had it the whole damn time. A roller coaster of emotions. What's that got to feel like? Thinking you're going again, but now you get more rounds. Now you get another chance. Anyone's game. Any expectation out of the window. Forget it all. James started. Couldn't finish it, but he's begun. Peaking deep alt mid late as well. Not a spawn play. Not a flash in sight. Just robs Lecro of his round. Back oh. to B. Yekindar, that's a lovely opener. Makes it a double. Halzak will be there to trade, but still, Yekindar's done his job here. Gone above and beyond. Into the overtime and outsiders. You know, I've always said this, this is very much a team. They the age like a fine wine. The longer you keep <laughs> them in the server, the more deadly they become. The better they look, the better they taste. Here's James on the short side, holding it down with the AWP. He don't often miss these. Going to have a rough time if you're Dignitas getting past it. Oh, that decision to back up left him off the angle for just a moment. And Halzerk was quick to move in. Squatters rights for this guy. Now he's up the short side. Kicker here, always with this aggression. Always down to fight his kicker. And even though he's got a reload, <laughs> Forrest, oh my God, he's pulling a Molotov. Ooh, ooh, burns him alive. Burns him at the stake. Not a Forrest clutch, surely. And now finds himself in a 1v2. Forrest with the AWP. What is this? 
Not sure. Maybe try to do that silent drop off. It is possible. But at this point, there's no time to dearly dally or mess around. Either save the orb or stick the plant. If he does, he's dead. Buster's here. This one is over. Nothing Forrest can physically do. And outsiders take that first of overtime. What a ridiculous round. Kicker even buys just enough of the clock. But his short aggression has been so powerful. Right when they get comfortable in mid, Kicker is peaking porch. And we go on. First round for outsiders. What they would have loved in reg, but they're not going to get the chance to do. Kinder also double B, right? Often he's either been left back as a rotator or he's been the guy pushing down Banana and often dying. He stopped doing it. Dig started spamming him through smokes. James back on his mid angle. He's got a wide smoke to work with. Gets to fight old mid. And nice stalemate again. Easy does it heading into this one, man. I mean, <laughs> it feels scary for Dig because they're, they're, all they've really gotten away with is all oh, these AXX Forest earlier in the half was actually looking for that play from James. He was trying to do the Valk to window jump so he could completely avoid that angle. This time, James there finally as Forest lets his guard down. James picks it up with another opening kill. You kind of won his B fight back to back rounds. It's like deja vu with these two. And I mean, the two veterans are gone right now. We're looking, Lycro, Heap, Hauser, three versus five. And they're getting pushed down through Banana. The aggression's coming out from outside as we've gotten into oh. OT. And they're trying to look better yeah. than ever. Jane with the open top mid, nails three. And Lecro can't get it done in the clutch. Outside is up onto 17. Yeah, it just feels half a dick. Because think about Rec. Think about all they've gotten away with. It's AXX. Their B plays haven't looked good. The util's been held really well by outsiders. And whenever Dig have gone B, they've just got kind of melted by Yakinda. Now they're not even running these AXX because they feel too predictable, too one dimensional. And as a result, they're freestyling and freeballing it. And outsiders just winning all their fights on both sides of the map. Uh, if there ever was a time to go back to it, I guess it's now, right? Even though it feels so obvious, it's like it is the only thing. Thing that's really been working. I feel like one T side route could even be enough to yeah. set up Dignitas still, right? If they go, if they go flawless on the side of outsiders here, I think it's over. I think we're going to overpass as the third map as the decider. This fight between Freiburg and Yakinda, the king of banana. That's what they used to say. Now he needs to show why he had that title. Why? That's how they referred to him. If he could deal with Yakindar here, that would cause a world of problems for outsiders. Instead, he shows him respect. He backs off and looks to rejoin the rest of the squad. This is going to give Yakindar that timing again where he could look to flank at a bare minimum. He's getting a boatload of info. Ouch. Made brings Freiburg down low. And this time, outsiders, they start to pull a fourth man around so early. They've got the read. He can just white to chain, careful there. Heap in the corner, jumping as Flint is spraying and praying he's going to get back with the Molotov. Needs a reload as well. But this is awkward timings. Reaggression, this time not from Kicker. It's Jame posted on Boiler. Does he go one step further? Lecro's up in apps. He's going to have to come out on the balcony instead of Boiler in this one. Could throw in his cart smoke if he wants. Jame catches a corner and catches a kill. Forrest trying to hunt it, does Ooh. trade with a CZ, and now he's got an AK for this long swing. For Buster has dropped the bomb at a paramount point, 20 seconds. Lecro needs a kill and hiding down the pit, willing to give away nothing. His kicker Buster comes running and gunning through the smoke, and there simply might not be enough time for this clutch round from Forrest and Freiburg. 10 on the clock. They still can't find kicker. He won't peek. He finds one, and Forrest has lost to the time itself. It's flit through a smoke and three on CT side. You said that might be as good as GG. Yeah, it starts to get super awkward now, man. Dignitas, they, they kind of run out of steam on that T side. The playbook not going deep enough. Trying to go back to this A execute. Even then, you know, it's a very different vibe about it. They didn't have too much, uh, too much in the way of weapons moving into that round there. Couple of players on pistols, and so they will fall short. Outsiders, gotta give them credit where credit is due. A phenomenal, flawless CT side out of them. Yeah. 
after losing that one on two as well, would have been easy to just get kind of you know crunched mentally. But hey, they're still here in a big way. Good to have Halzuk back on the orb. I didn't have it in that last round. Him and Jame are both five and one in opening duels right now. It has been these orbs deciding a lot, especially once we hit OT for Jame when he was just peeking out mid, constantly finding these early kills while Yakinda won his B fights. It's been a long time since outsiders were on the T side. What shade of outsiders do we get? Triple B beginning. It was faster near the end of regulation. That's what was able to put this big four round streak on the end of outsiders T side. Flip. He doesn't seem too hesitant either. They're both blind. He somehow wins that. Banana is taken back. That keeps a assured triple A hold right now. Halzuk's AWP on long will see nothing but Jame on a late mid fight because he's flashing his team out Balk. Yeah, lobbing it over. Lecro here. Needs a couple, right? He does have support down in the pit. First for Lecro. Damage done. Forrest not swinging out yet. Tries to bide his time and now drops the bomb out in the open. Halzerk is suddenly, though, the only guy left standing here. Ooh, Ooh. Sees the elbow. Can't win the fight. Jane with a missed shot as well. And Halzerk's good the second time around. Wow. Nails both. And so Dignitas, they do take the first when we get into this second half of OT. Their CT side, one out of three needed to send us to a double overtime. This is unbelievable. Dig, who thought the game was already lost in that clutch, are now still here. Two more for two OTs. Outsiders experiencing the same problem that Dig just had. Not knowing where the solution is found. Think about B, Harry. We haven't seen B in like 10 rounds. No one's even gone near there. Yakinda was shutting it down CT. Now we have that opener for Heap as well. Hauser throws himself down into old mid. There's not even a mid Molotov. He just assumes the respect and it is given to him. No one swings mid. But he also misses the timing to Flit, who gets up in apps. This is the default that outsiders were putting together on their T side. The 4B take with Flit lurking A. It caused such late rotations out of Dignitas that they had to save in so many winnable 3v3s. Oh, that flash oh, misses. Team flash. Luckily enough, not punished for it. Freiburg oh. trying to trade that. It's an important 4v4, right? It denies outsiders just spilling into a B play, just overrunning no the bomb site. That fight from Halzerk is ballsy. And he's taking the advantage back for Dignitas now. Outsiders are getting desperate. They're going to start to look towards B. There's a gap. Oh, trying to wrap. Halzerk out through middle, out through middle. Shoots him in the back. Yakindar's dead on his attempt to find timings. And so now Jame and Buster need to dig deep. A two versus four. Rough spot to be in. No denying it. And they could have to them what happened to Dignitas in that first half. The money ran dry, if you remember. They brought some pistols into the final round of OT. Outsiders might face that same fate. They don't get a bomb plant here. Jame up the short side trying to entry with this AWP. Is he prepared? Halzerk inside, Forrest down in the pit. It's a terrifying crossfire to get past. With very little time, he's going to drop that smoke up and over. Looking oh. for Forrest, but it's Halzerk to nail the shot. This orb's come alive once we've hit OT. And there he is with a fourth phenomenal shot set of Halzerk. Two out of three rounds needed for another overtime. And now we head into the final round of this first half of OT. Every time one AWPer has picked it up and set the bar, the other has exceeded it. It was James dominating CT. Now Halzerk's just styling, re-aggro mid, anchoring A, pushing abs. This guy's all over the place. Where does he begin his last round? It's B, off of a spawn, might take a deep peek. Outsiders, do they want to go back to it? The same problem that Dig just had. They've got no money. Buster and Jame are on pistols for crying out loud. They can't even compete. Halzak won't give them the AWP. He's going to rotate back out after firing just a single shot. Outsiders think they know where the AWP is. They haven't even begun to understand. Lecro holding anti-flash in case they pop in through this mid-smoke. Halzak, he's toeing the line. He can't make up his mind. And How can you? What is the right call? What is the right spot? Where will Outsiders go? Unbeknownst to them still. Nades into top banana this time, not doing as much damage as last. And I mean, I, I, sorry, Dignitas have tried to read this. They've gone, okay, they've tried A so many times and there's such bad results. Ooh. Surely this is the B play. Nades a out. third man inside of B, but the, the bomb on 
The back of Outsiders is ready to head in towards A. Right now, only two players here to defend it. Dignitas with a double setup at B, getting pulled away now. Freiburg shouldn't get here in time. If Outsiders are quick, they've got a four on two inside of this A site. They're trying to get double pit. So they can play off of one another. Lecro and Forest here. Freiburg making noise Ooh. in the library. Bit of a tag for your Kindar. Bomb coming up short. No Very way. little time. Freiburg runs at them. And now Lecro down here in the pit. Flicks up. Can't find it. Forest has got to be the man to deliver. Down in pit. Attack pistols. nine. Up close him. It's the, it's the pistols left standing for outsiders. James going up James. into the graveyard. Forrest's got no idea. James finds him. And it ends. Orp versus Orpa. Halzerk versus James. He's come alive once we've hit this OT. But he needs this one now. The bomb. Out in the open, James can play around that. James can play around that all day long. Hauser's feeling the pressure. Oh. Tap on it. Oh, the peak bait. James saw. James sees him. Knows he's not on the bomb. Little jump peak up and over. Hauser, you are running out it's of time. time. He's going to go to him. He's going to look for the fight. No. It's only the tag. And that there is the James done it. There's no time for Dignitas. He wins the 1v1, but he doesn't get the round. Outsiders locking a third map. Jane yeah, couldn't oh, close oh, it oh, in oh, reg, oh. man, but he gets it in OT. That is an unbelievable game. Orpa v Orpa to close, and no better battle given the game we just got. Dig tried their heart out, and still outsiders shut it out in two maps. What a, what a series. And we're not even done, Harry. There's still more Counter-Strike to be played. I, I don't think anyone expected it to be this good. <laughs> like, I, uh, 